Yeah, so we I told you I'd do it. I think uh, we're going to do one with Gary next. And, uh, oh, Gary goes on and well, on. Oh, he has meaning to everything. I'll and story for everything. You know, I don't play any instruments, <laughs> but I really do love music. And <laughs> I can name every song from the 80s. Well, I'll tell you. First time that I heard uh, Comfort, what, believe, or, or, no, actually, it was Muscle from Michelle, which was from the album R.G. Bargy, <laughs> which was on A&M Records and Tapes. It was very good. It was before they actually had their big hit, Comfort. And you could tell that there was greatness on the horizon. Right, yeah. Oh, I could just hear it. When, Let when me every... play that song that when he cries about Elton John. Oh, shit. What was that? Crying. Uh, whenever I hear that song, I'll cry both. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which song was that? Is it? Oh, my god. It's goodness. a very beautiful song. And I cry. <laughs> but uh, I remember I saw Steely Dan at the weekend. This was going back 10 years ago. First time I heard this song. And then I said to Lucas and Jackson, come see the song. <laughs> and we went to a seal of Dan. And then when I was on Rock and Roll Jeopardy, which is not to be confused with regular Jeopardy, that the Rock and Roll Jeopardy, he said, saw the song Steely Dan. Then, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And did and you know that Larry Carlton, the guitar player on the song, I believe it might have been on Asia, he was shot in the head and had to relearn how to play the guitar again. I worked in a record store for the first two years of the Rosal Field. This is when they didn't have a swiggy buzzer. And it was very and difficult then, to steal <laughs> albums because the black people did not have pants big enough to include an album in their pants. <laughs> so they were limited to 45s and 45 record adapters. I worked on the record store, and I loved it because I got to see all the new releases when they came in. And I got to read all the great magazines. There were more magazines back then. Did you know that there was a magazine called Crawl Daddy? And Cream. And, and I was right. not to be confused with the band Cream, which, of course, was Ginger Baker, uh, Eric Clapton, and Jack Bruce. That's right. Which any true music appreciated would love. And did you know that Ginger Baker owned a recording studio in Africa where Paul McCartney recorded Band on the Run? But I'm getting ahead of myself. Did you know that Eric Clapton formed his own rehab on a private island for very wealthy rock stars? Did you know Savoy Truffle from the Beatles' <laughs> White Album was written because Eric Clapton had bad dental habits and all his teeth were rotten in his head? Do you know that Emerson, Lake and Palmer, their first album, was one of the first albums I ever got? Did you know that Emerson, Lake and Palmer's Lucky Man was a joke song that Greg Lake wrote at 14 years old? Did you know that... Oh, wait. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. I went to Toronto Burn 5, and when I came out, this was going on. What happened? Right. What happened? <laughs> how, did, how did we get here? Yeah, we're talking about if you do playlists. I am doing the next yeah. one. Yeah. Gary Playlist. Now, can you get your voice back before you do the playlist? Absolutely. Yeah. We're just describing what it's going to be like because you're so verbose when it comes to music, and you don't even play a musical instrument. You don't know anything about so, music. So neither, you, neither. So what? I play many instruments. Wait, so, so you're not allowed to talk about? No, music? no. I'm just saying it's just we just know exactly what it's going to be. No, you don't. Steely Dan's Pretzel Logic was the first album I worked at when I worked at the record store no, at Roosevelt Field. That's not it. After that, Steely Dan was the first concert I saw at Beacon. But well, I went with my brother, and then we went and we bought the album. Then, why don't you do it? I'll just not do it. I think we, Fred and I can that, handle your. Yeah, did you know that Fred on the back of one of the Steely Dan Gary's record <laughs> albums, um, it might have been with Katie Lodd, there is a studio picture of everybody sitting around the control room. And if you look very closely at the base of the control board, there is a hand that doesn't seem to belong to anybody in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that you love to talk about music. Well, that's. that's and what, your music isn't even that good. Like your, like, that's your opinion. Yeah, I don't think your music is good. No, mine is. Wait till my playlist comes out. Yeah, I can't wait to hear the Buzzy Lindhart song. It's a, hey, Time to Live is now one of the best albums ever. But it's, to, to you, it's a good song. No, to everybody. When Come I play on. it, people will love it. Then why, are, why is the Buzzy Lindhart played everywhere? Heaven is the only place that I have ever known. You know, that song I first heard at, uh, what was the name of that club on Long Island? My father's place. That's right. I was over there. Now, they had a potted plant in the corner, and I remember <laughs> sitting right next to the potted plant, and there was a guy smoking weed. But then I told Jackson Lucas years later about this story, but of course, I left out the reference to the drugs. Well, then, you can go for me all Who's going to be, who, who are the songs in your playlist? Give me three. It's going to be Daryl Hall and John Oates. No, no, no. Steely Dan. No. Phil Collins. Phil no, Collins. None Something of that. in the air than that. Not, none of those. Susu <laughs> Studio. Susu <laughs> Studio. <laughs> and don't ask me to say that again. You know, of... It doesn't mean anything. Everybody thought it had great meaning, but it did not. Uh, very few people know that. I told Alex Tebeck on Rock and Roll Jeopardy that it did have meaning. Jeff Probst. <laughs> Jeff Probst on Rock and Roll Jeopardy. I think there's a Zeppelin song. There's an R.E.M. song. If you remember Queen my song. book, They Call Me Baba Booey. 
you would have read my top ten Desert Island songs. <laughs> so let me begin there, and then we'll branch out from there. I hope there's seven hours in this show, because there's a lot of music to cover. I would start with Black Cow from Asia. Yeah, I give that nine out of ten <laughs> stars. And, and nine is pretty horn. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> You know, there's a special coming up behind the scenes of my day, yeah. and at the end of it, Fred explains how to do the imitation with the pen. <laughs> yeah. There's right. a whole pen demonstration. It's the funniest fucking yeah, Fred thing. Fred uses a pen when now he does it. everybody will do it. He shows where to put the pen in and exactly how to bend well, it. Well, there's a science. Howie TV is a very important <laughs> channel. All right. Thank you. So Gary's next up on Playlist, which yeah. is our new feature. <laughs> put Debbie still out in the hall yelling. Yeah, by the way, um, Adam Levine is coming in, of course, with his band. Not many people know this, but there was never a Maroon 1, 2, 3, or 4. <laughs> is that Somehow right? Somehow became Maroon 5. How, how they got to Maroon 5 is still a mystery to me. Well, I do know, but I will not tell you. <laughs> I've been sworn to secrecy. I spoke to Adam, and he told me not to tell anybody. What is the name Maroon 5? I've never asked him that. Like, what is that, Gary? No. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask him. Adam's coming in. Uh, they're doing a song. They're going to do a cover version of Yesterday. Ooh. I just heard them rehearsing. It's amazing. It's great, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know the song Yesterday was a song that was written in the lyrics Scrambled Eggs? Right. And Paul McCartney actually was so, he thought it was such a great song, he thought he stole it from somebody. So he would play it for all his friends and ask them if they'd ever heard the song before. Right. Thank you, Gary, for that You're musical knowledge. You're welcome. Yeah. And that's my playlist. And yeah, and I eat egg whites, which is interesting too. I also, think. I've spoken so much about my songs, I have no time to play the song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 